Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my review for the premiere of CBS's The Blacklist television series for Season 2. Season 2, Episode 1, which is called Lord Baltimore. All right, so a few people have asked me to go ahead and do some more reviews for The Blacklist. It's been a show that I haven't consistently reviewed. I reviewed it when it first started last year. I did a few reviews throughout the first season, but I haven't gotten into reviewing like every episode for it. So that said, I uh, wanted to check out the season two premiere because I did like the season one finale, and I do think that uh, James Spader is incredible as uh, Raymond Reddington is red. Uh, also, of course, he's going to be in The Avengers 2 as Ultron, and uh, I think that's about as good of a casting choice as you can possibly get. Uh, perfect decision by Marvel to go ahead with that because he is uh, pretty incredible in terms of an actor. I really love his performances read in every episode he's in in the show. So you guys have seen my previous reviews. You know how I feel about him. He's amazing. He's awesome. Uh, he's very uh, intimidating. I really love his uh, his confidence. I just I love the way he plays the character. So cool. So cool. He's got the hat, got the glasses, everything. You know, really cool. Uh, so I really enjoy seeing him in in the show, and he he's really awesome. Uh, that said, this review will contain some minor spoilers for the episode. Um, so if you guys haven't seen it yet, you may or may not want to watch it. Uh, if you're watching as a subscriber who's never seen the blacklist, basically just, just to give you a quick run through of it, it's a, it's a pretty pretty good show on CBS. I want to say uh, it's done with really high quality. It's kind of it's sort of one of those you know CIA type um, FBI shows. Um, but its slant or its angle is you have a blacklist essentially that Raymond Reddington has created uh, of people who essentially are criminals through his uh, him kind of going rogue from being a member of it originally of like the CIA originally to um, you know infiltrate and sort of create this blacklist that he has. Then afterwards, he's decided through uh, Elizabeth Keene, who's uh, one of our main characters, or pretty much our front runner character, I want to say, um, communicate with them and kind of help them to to break down a lot of these different blacklisters, as they call them. So, th so that's the idea of the show. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I definitely would recommend you give it a shot. Uh, you could probably start at season two. You kind of get the idea. You know, I, I would say watch it from the beginning if you haven't seen any of it from season one. But if you haven't seen season one and you, you're not able to watch it, you could start watching it from season two and uh, you, you get the idea. You'll get most of the idea because we did have some characters that were in the first season that uh, won't be returning or were killed off or things happened to them such as, uh, well, I don't want to get too much into spoiler territory for people that don't know and still want to watch season one, that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, basically Elizabeth's husband, spoilers, I guess, uh, was turned out to be kind of like fake and it was killed off uh, him being I guess a spy so to speak or whatever you know you get a lot of those kind of um, sometimes it gets a little bit a little bit much in terms of you know the, the whole you know spy counter spy type thing this person's this but then they're really that you get a lot of that in this series when it works it works really well this episode we had a cool character which is called uh, Lord Baltimore of course the title of the episode uh, who is played by um, let's see uh, I've seen her before in lots of movies I don't know her name off offhand but basically um, the actress who, who plays her does a, does a really great job of her and uh, she essentially her whole thing in this episode she's you know our main I guess one, one of the villains in this episode and essentially what she is is she's got di a dissociative identity disorder some people in layman's terms non-psychological layman's terms is multiple personalities in other words she had a twin sister who she killed she's pretty twisted and she's got two personalities one has manifested itself basically as her sister which is a sweet innocent version uh, of their you know the, of the twins I guess and then the other side is the real her, uh, who which is mostly suppressed, but comes out um, when certain things happen that are uh, traumatic, or when she's reminded of what happened to to her real sister. So it, it's a nice switcheroo they play on you in this episode. It's it's really interesting in terms of uh, the the actress they chose was really good. I really liked her because she could really. Uh, look very innocent as the one sister and you know personality and then when she had to flip to the other she did a great job of flipping and even with the face expressions and the acting is able to portray the other one too so she can switch between the uh, identities very very well and she's just she, she's really good in this episode. So you've got her, then you also have this villain named Berlin who essentially is after uh, Red's wife 
and uh, essentially captures her and, you know, uh, pretty dark, pretty brutal uh, in order to just basically torture him. He's sending pieces of her to uh, Red uh, as, as we go along. So, <laughs> so you have kind of this villain, you know, um, Red's kind of like an anti-hero, I guess. He, he's kind of like a, a hero too, but he gets his hands dirty. He, he's a hero that does get his hands dirty, gets right in there in order to flesh out, you know, um, this kind of this kind of stuff, evil characters, evil, uh, you know, people, th this kind of thing. I, sort of like undercover for a very long time, and then you know, kind of comes out afterwards. So, so. Um, yeah, so really cool dynamic between them two, and I'm really excited to see this this Berlin character, Doctor Claw, as I like to think of him. <laughs> Doctor, he's got a claw. So, um, and what's going to happen with that? It, it does intrigue me for the season. It's it's a great starting point for the season. Um, so that's what's kind of new or, or, or in the premiere for going forward for this season, kind of set up like that. So great setup with that. With regards to the agents, we had some exciting uh, stuff with uh, Elizabeth Keene and the others. I really particular liked when Raymond's wife gets snatched, essentially. Um, you kind of have the you've, you've got agents all around. You've got, you know, people in uniform all around uh, and then or just basically agents, you know, cops, this kind of thing. And then essentially Berlin's uh, guys, I guess, storm in and basically take them out, which is which is cool. It's not something you see very often where you have like, um, you know, police that are there. Usually you'll have, you know, your evil characters, they'll kind of stay away from that. But in this show, you have sort of this whole underground uh, people of a lot of power. They're not afraid to go after, you know, agents and police and, and this kind of thing. They're really not afraid of them. They're cop killers and stuff. They don't care. So, um, you know, it's an interesting show. It's it's difficult for me to review, as you guys can see. Um, it's hard because every episode you have new characters coming in, you have new villains, you have a lot of episodes that they're doing, uh, like last season, tons. And, um, you know, each one is pretty dense. you got a lot of different things happening, characters turning back and forth, you know, um, spy, undercover, you know, this kind of thing. Uh, not knowing who to trust and characters and little twists and things like that happening throughout the series. So if you're into that kind of a show, and I, I do like that kind of that kind of thing, uh, it, it's a great series, really, really good, and a very strong premiere for this season going forward. Got some interesting elements in terms of, like, you know, psychology with the one villain there, Lord Baltimore. Got some good stuff that felt kind of comic book-y with um, uh, Red versus this Berlin character. And then you've got kind of the, uh, the agents as, as well, too, which we saw some cool action with and some cool stuff with in the premiere so in terms of score i'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 really really solid premiere great series i'm glad that cbs is deciding to continue with it go forward with it and i'm excited to see you know how long it's going to go for are we going to get to season three maybe even past that i don't know but it certainly is an exciting show it's done super well it looks great and uh, there's a lot of really really good characters it, it feels very legit for for what it is you know even though you have some kind of Sometimes there's a few too many twists and turns in, in characters that are, you know, um, being devious and things like that. That feels a little fabricated. But, I mean, that's kind of what you get with the territory in this type of show. But it does look really, really good, and it's a lot of fun to check out. So if you guys haven't seen The Blacklist yet, I can't recommend it enough. Definitely check it out. 9 out of 10 for the premiere for me. Definitely going to watch the rest of the season. Don't know if I'm going to review it. This is kind of one of those where... You know, I review it every so often, you know, like when, when we get a good episode or, you know, premieres, finales, big things like that, maybe every few episodes. Let me know what you guys thought about it. If you're really into the blacklist, let me know what you think. If you like the premiere, please write it in the comments below. Uh, share your thoughts. Or if you didn't, maybe you could share your thoughts too. Uh, if you liked this quick little review, please thumb it up below. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. And I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. See you for the next one. Strap as always. Same peace.